Okay, another brief tutorial on uh, managing your Joomla website. Hopefully the sounds uh, a little better on uh, this video because I've switched to using the headset. You'll notice here we've got the admin backend area. Now, sometimes, if I can get the right address, that would help. Sometimes I change this login URL to something like just to make it a little more secure but in this case I haven't it's uh, a demonstration website that I've had for quite some time now so just put in your username and password click login the first thing you're going to be presented with is the control panel in your case there will be a k2 component here as well with uh, items and you'll be able to access the k2 area directly from the control panel because that's probably where you're going to be going most of the time. The other thing you will see is an update dialogue. Now there shouldn't be a dialogue for the Joomla update because I'm pretty much on top of that with any client under a management contract but if you do see one uh, I would suggest back up the website and then install the Joomla updates. Here we've just got some extensions updates so I'm just going to review those before we go into the uh, template. And I have a component installed here called Mighty Sites which allows me to make uh, replicant copies of websites and take the content uh, structure etc and create a new website from it. I won't be updating that. What we're going to cover today or in this tutorial is templates now most of the templates why we're using here are from rocket theme so the structure and the layout is pretty much the same um, the actual framework of the template but the actual look and feel will change and you can change that as well by changing components so i'm just going to go into this template here it's possible that you will see different variants of your template because we've created different color schemes or different layouts for different pages of the website here we're just using the standard and the hexaris template is actually the one that is running on my primary website whatnowebsite.co.uk the first page we come to the default page is just telling us about the template so if you want to read about that you're welcome but it might be just as easy to ask me a question on the next tab we can change the styles so we can have a preset logo or as we have in this case a customized logo you can change all the colors for example the top bar the header style so typically what you would do here if you wanted to create a customized color scheme is you would create a color palette of two three or five different colors depending on the template some of them will take up to i think six colors and then put those in here and then of course test them in the website the ideal scenario if you were going to do that would be to make a copy of the template so i think you can make a copy there and then start adjusting that rather than adjusting the uh, default template Features is something you'll probably use from time to time and it would be an idea to be familiar with it if you're going to make any changes. So you'll see here it says social buttons so we can have some social buttons there and I've got uh, Twitter, Facebook and Google. If I just switch to the website you'll see here there's a floating bar with those links. and you can have the date although there's not really a lot of value in that unless you're posting uh, into a blog for example or you have a blog size website blog style website rather there's a font sizer available as well um, but with the k2 component if it's installed on your website that has its own uh, font sizer there's also a login panel now a login panel we don't have active here but normally we would have a login button up here or somewhere over on the right hand side and if somebody was to click that a pop-up box would display and allow them to log in the 
copyright is what's down here so you'll see here it just says copyright 2015 what no website links back to our own website and we've just put that in there and there's also the two top scroller option which is that here just takes us back up to the top and you'll see as well the system messages they go in the draw which is at the top of the screen here but hidden and just displays if there's a message such as failed login or newsletter component has been activated etc you'll notice I haven't got Google Analytics installed on this website uh, it's because I'm tracking the traffic through to whatnowwebsite.co.uk because pretty much all of these pages in one form or other link through to our main website so we don't really need to worry about tracking here you'll see here then there's another option that says menu and this is basically saying which menu are you going to use uh, if I just close this for a moment on this website if I click menus you'll see there's only one but on some websites there can be three four five even more tem uh, menus so when you go into the template to edit it it's possible to choose one of those menus and uh, select the main menu the copyright menu etc and then it also says where do you want to place this and I'll just come on to this positioning in a moment and then it will ask you if you want uh, a panel menu in responsive or a select box and what that basically means is when somebody's looking at the website on a mobile version or mobile um, device it will have the little hamburger menu and they can click that and it will either select a, a drop down or a panel that slides in and I've opted for a panel the enable ID is really just to give an ID item to each individual menu item so that each can be styled individually so you could in effect have different colors for each of these or a little icon at the side or anything you chose Module cache is just really to save on memory and increase the page load speed. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. That's more of a technical issue. Layouts is a way of controlling the layout of the website. And you'll see here we've got header, top, showcase, and then utility. I'll just co cover those very briefly here. You'll see we've got three blocks here for the header and we've decided we're going to make it three seven and two columns wide the total should always equal 12 the top position four threes and the showcase one column of 12 and I'll just explain briefly what that means this is the showcase here and it takes up the entire width of the page this is the header and as you can see here I've elected to have three positions one three columns wide one th seven and one twelve so the first position takes the logo the second position takes the menu and the final position the search option and that's the same all the way down so we can have uh, as many columns as we want for feature for the main top this is the content body area so you'd have main body if I switch that to two columns I then have a sidebar A sidebar B and sidebar C and I can even adjust those so that I have one sidebar at the left and one at the right or two at the right so that would be a more of a 20th century design where you have menus down either side sometimes it's necessary you could have popular content on the right and a navigation menu on the left for example and again underneath the content you've got more rows that you can put content into and all I've done here is used a very basic layout where I've created one column and thrown a gantry module in there which we're going to go on to in another tutorial and we can load other items in there if we choose to And then other different modules as well which we're going to come on to later as well this whole site was set up as a, a demonstration for clients so we'll be changing it as we go through 
different tutorials and changing the layouts and the colors etc now you'll notice at the moment we're using a primarily a green and I think blue and grey colour scheme if I hover over that's grey so if I go up here to style primary colour is green secondary colour is blue with a hover colour of grey now if I want to go to presets I can actually change that I can just pick one of these rather than messing with the style and the layout I can just pick one so let's say preset 8 and you'll see here the the color scheme has changed or preset 6 again the color scheme has changed uh, how about 7 so we'll look at that purple it's different I'll save that that's saved and then just refresh the website and you'll see that the color scheme has changed just like that don't particularly care for purple I think it's the default that I used yeah so just change that back now that's pretty much it for the template there are advanced options that we would lead, need to look into if there are problems with the website or we needed to heavily manipulate the look and feel um, some of the things for example like the k2 styling if we're using the k2 component I don't need it on in this website but it's on anyway that will control the layout of the k2 items the RTL support is really to enable support for right to left languages which I don't need and there's an IE7 redirect option for older browsers which I don't think you're going to need because the majority of people are not using them but the load transition I would like to have which fades things in as the page is, is downloaded so I'm going to save all that now and close because we've added load transition it should theoretically load the page quicker so I'm just going to force a server refresh and that is a little quicker transition doesn't appear to be there but that doesn't worry me too much this is one of the modules I particularly like where you can play around with things in the layout okay so that's pretty much it for how to adjust uh, the template other things that we're going to be covering in other tutorials will be to how to actually create a specific module and have it loaded into a specific location for example in the features area or just above the content in the main top area and what we can do with that and how we can manipulate the layout etc hope you enjoyed and if you've uh, got any questions please just feel free to get hold of me bye bye